as we prepare for the time of the Lord's table, I would like to uh, read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and in verse number 18, there is a, a statement that is made that um, brought, that brings great joy to the people of God. It says, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. Amen. And I wanted to consider this because this is what we have come to remember, or who we've come to remember. Jesus Christ, by whom we have been reconciled. This is a, a working of God who is over all things, as it was just stated there at that first part of verse number 18. And it was a God who was, it is God who is over all things that is doing this work through his son. The thing, and being reconciled is something that couldn't take place without God working in it. This is a work that he has done, that he has accomplished, and that he caused to happen. Why did we need to be reconciled? The passage uh, talks about how that this is something that he did. And there is a need for reconciliation because of the state that we were in. Amen. It was, we were in the state of sin and enmity before God. Sin not only introduced flaw and weakness, but it brought enmity and hostility against God. And it pushed men away, or separated men away from God, and put them against Him. We have passages and scriptures that speak to us, to how in and how we once were toward God, and how we were enemies, how we were hostile, how we were dead towards Him, how we were alienated, how we were separated, and how we were without God and without hope, and, um, and how we were alienated from and enemies in our minds as well. And so we have these number of, of passages to, that speak to that, but I wanted to concentrate more on the, recon the reconciling, because that is the work that God had did, how he brought us from that state and is bringing us to himself by Christ Jesus. Because of the need for reconciliation, it, it, it confirms the magnitude and the effect of sin. Because of what sin did, it... Um, we see the magnitude of that in being needed, in being need to being reconciled or brought back to him. Because of sin and because because of sin and its and its effects, the whole race was thrust into separation and was thrust into a fallen state. We find that, um, but this is the good news of the gospel, and that God has de has devised a means by which those who were alienated can now be brought near and can be reconciled. Man didn't assemble or beseech or beg God for this to happen. He did it in his own desire. And um, in working through his wisdom and his preference for mercy, God reconciled us to himself. He dealt effectively with the cause that brought about that enmity, that brought about that hostility, and that what brought about that uh, enmity toward him. This, the passage, our text tells us that he reconciled us to himself, and, but he, and he did it 
by Jesus Christ or through Jesus Christ. In God's salvation, everything depends on Christ. Nothing or no one is acceptable to God that is not connected with his Son. God accomplished the reconciliation through Jesus Christ, and it is he and he alone who successfully dealt with sin and its uncleanness. You know, it, it took one, or it took the one with no sin to become sin to take away all sin. Amen. We find that 1 John 3, 5 tells us, that it was he was manifested to take away sin and in him is no sin also first john 1 7 tells us that the blood of christ cleanses us from all sin hebrews 1 3 tells us that he made purification for sin and so he dealt effectively with with that which caused that separation in that enmity uh, between us and God. Amen. Also, I'd like to close with Colossians chapter 1 and verse number 20. Colossians chapter 1 and verse number 20. It says, And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven, and you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. And so we've come to remember Christ this morning by whom God has reconciled us to himself. Um, at this time, we'll have a word of prayer before we partake of the emblems this morning. Heavenly Father, God, we come before you giving thanks and, and being able to remember what you have done through Christ Jesus for us. We come to remember what was accomplished on our behalf uh, through Christ, and we give thanks for it. We pray that you would be blessing this time as we come to remember these things, and we praise things in Jesus' name. Amen.